what's up everybody welcome to the channel and welcome to this week's video be sure to subscribe if you're not already hit that like button and sit back and get ready for another great adventure so oscar and i have been hanging out in the only shade that i can actually pull my car up next to now that it's getting a little later, um, I think it's time to crank up the car and let's go for a quick little drive around on these uh, dirt roads out here and we'll see if we can't come across some tarantulas. So it's just before six now and I'm starting to drive the roads and we come across any black spots in the road, uh, you know, medium size like baseballs or something like that. Um, any black spots in the road, we end up stopping for and we check them out because usually it's a spider. Still just driving. Um, I did pass up one tarantula so far I had a BMW tailing me. So I didn't stop for that tarantula and I let them check that one out. We're just continuing on uh, 32 miles per hour. And we should be coming across some stuff pretty soon. Well, it's not a spider. Go. Yeah. All right, I just had to jack on brakes for this guy. He's just a little one. Look at how small he is. Or maybe even she. That's awesome. Ooh, that's a defensive posture. I stopped driving for a little bit. It is seven o'clock now, and I've only seen two spiders tonight. Um, <clears throat> the high was 104 today. Like I witnessed it, it was 104. So maybe they'll be out later, or um, maybe it's too early in the season, potentially. Oh, that's a big guy. Anyways, um, I don't know. I might wander around this field real fast. bit ridiculous that it took so long but here's one this makes number three for today oh that's pretty cool they're like crazy defensive well we made number three a pretty quick encounter now we're back on the road to find number four or five or six I think we have number four. Yes, we do. Coming up on number five. Number four was having a bad, uh, having a bad hair day. Here's number five. So at least we're starting to get a little productivity. Very dark legs compared to some of the others. We'll do an overhead shot. Very cool. I like that one. Number six is good looking. Number five is only about 100 yards down the road. Seven tarantulas, that's not too bad. Uh, I decided to dip off the main road. Uh, lots of people, that's for darn sure. Um, so we're just gonna cruise through here real fast and see if I don't come across any. I drove down this road earlier and uh, it's just a pretty easy road. Nothing to it, but it goes nowhere. Dead end to a nice view on the top of a cliff. So, just go nice and slow and let's see if we see any. So my side road was not a bust. Here's number eight for the night and it is basically eight o'clock on the dot right now. There we go, number nine. Good looking. Eight 
And this is when things get interesting. So I, no doubt about it, saw a spider. And this is him, or her, actually probably her, down in there. There you go, decent little view. I got myself a uh, pretty rigid stick. And there he is. Pretty cool, huh? Coming up on number 13. Pretty sure this is 13. I kind of lost count back there when I went on the side road. There are so many spiders now. Number 14. Number 15. I think this is 16. Holy crap of mollies. It's only 9 o'clock now. I don't even think it is technically 9. 8.50 something. Very cool. Number 20. As long as I kept up with the numbering, that is. What is this, 21, 22, 20? Something in there, but he's on the run. He ain't slowing down for the pictures. Only about 9.30 now, we're at about 26. Not too bad. We're backing up. Now help me out. What number was that? Oh shoot, look at this. Oh wow. Oh this just got interesting. I started seeing some movement over there. Oh wow. Good morning everybody. Well that didn't end how I wanted it last night. Um, I kinda stopped filming out of nowhere I guess. We got to about 28, 29 spiders, tarantulas for the night. Mm, that's pretty darn good, especially for this early in the season. Um, and then I went up to the top of that ridge line back here. Then I set up camp for the night. <clears throat> but the wind was blowing about, I don't know, 36,000 miles an hour or something like that. Ended up just packing up camp for the night. Off the, the ridge line up there, and I found somewhere on a uh, some lower ground to camp for the night. Um, this ended up being where I camped at, just right off the side of one of the dirt roads that's off the main road. Um, nobody around to bother me, so it was no big deal all night. Um, pretty peaceful. A couple cows mooing here and there, stuff like that, but uh, not much going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take just a couple minutes and rearrange the car. And then I think I'm gonna go find somewhere to go for a little hike. To this little uh, dried up creek bed. <clears throat> I'm gonna wander around down here, see what I can't come across. I know there's a couple puddles of water um, still sitting. So we'll see. We'll see if we can't come across any fun little critters or anything like that. So we made it to the barbed wire fence, so I'm just gonna follow that up. And then cut through the field right here. We'll go back to the road and then back to the car, which is back over there. It's kind of cool to see like, like on the cliff's edge, how you can see all the different layers. It's uh, very rich. 
and fossils all around here. Um, I mean, I've found some myself even, and I'm not a fossil hunter. I won't add all this. So there's just a lot going on out here. Uh, Native Americans used to roam these lands pretty heavily, apparently. And then with the fossils and all that, it's just a lot of fun. Cool area to be around. And then it's fun to, uh, it's fun to be around the spiders and, and all that too. It just kind of adds to the whole experience. It just kind of works out perfectly. Um, if the weather works out throughout the day, you can go for a hike. I don't know, 104 degrees isn't quite hiking conditions in my eyes. But, uh, so you can hike, or maybe you can head into town, check out uh, Bent's Old Fort, the old uh, fur trading posts. And then they've got some museums and actual La Hanta. And then, I mean, there's a lot to do around. Just a lot of exploring or you can do even in 100 100 degrees you could do a short hike like i just did huh. wow a casualty of yesterday but it's like hollow inside so i i think it's been eight maybe it's not from yesterday there's so much to do down here it'd be a shame to just drive down and waste waste the day and just drive down for spiders anyways it's been a lot of fun so i think i saw 28 last night i don't keep a tally or anything like that um so it, i don't know once i started to get past it about 15 it starts to get hard to remember um because i mean you you jump in the car and then you drive for you know it could be 30 seconds or it could be you know five or more minutes um in between spiders so anyways um i think i saw about 28 that's pretty sweet pretty good amount um my record's actually 32 i think that's awesome and i'm gonna keep i think i'm gonna keep the record as um individual days not the entire weekend and then i'm also gonna break it down into like up to 10 p.m uh that way like if you just drive all night like yeah okay you're just gonna keep seeing them so I need a reasonable hour to, to stop the record um, and just record what I have. So anyways, 28 spiders, good old camping. But with all that said, I'm back to Oscar the All Track. I'm gonna pack up, start moving around, do some exploring out here before I head north. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you wanna see some more of my adventures and have a safe work week, have a safe weekend, and we'll see you next time.